Hi dear friends, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see mock test part 3. Before this, I already uploaded two videos for the mock test. These videos are very helpful for those who is preparing for pharmacy competitive exams like government pharmacist exam, GPAT, Prometric, etc. So, we can go through the rules of this mock test. There will be 10 multiple choice questions. You have to attend these 10 multiple choice questions within 10 minutes. So, uh, please take a paper and pen to write down the answers. There will be a total 10 questions. Total time allowed is 10 minutes. Each right answer you will get positive 4 mark. For each right answer you will get positive 4 mark. For each wrong answer you will get negative 0.3. For the blank answer that means uh, if you didn't write the answer you will get 0 mark like that. So in the last after 10 questions you have to add all the marks you got it and you have to mention in the comment session. First I will read the questions along with options then I will give 10 seconds to write it down the answer. Then I will display the answer I will show the answer the correct answer then we will move to next question like that. So guys we can uh, start it right now be ready the first question which of the following is a liquid alkaloid which of the following is a liquid alkaloid option nicotine strychnine quinine colgesin which of the following is a liquid alkaloid? Options nicotine, strychnine, quinine, and colgesin. It's time to write the answer. Hope you wrote the answer. So, the correct answer here is nicotine so if you write the nicotine answer you will get a positive 4 mark so nicotine is liquid alkaloid and which is volatile also normally the alkaloids are colorless odorless crystalline solids they are crystalline solids in nature but some exceptions are there uh, one of the exception exception is uh, this nicotine Nicotine is a volatile liquid and conine is also volatile liquid. And berberine is yellow colored one. Normally alkaloids are colorless but berberine is yellow colored. We are moving to next question. Question number 2. Beriberi is due to the deficiency of. Question number 2. Beriberi is the is due to the deficiency of options vitamin b2 vitamin c vitamin b vitamin b1 you can write it down your answers uh, the correct answer is vitamin b1 that is thymine vitamin b1 that is thymine is the correct answer due to the deficiency of uh, thymine Beriberi is formed. Vitamin B2 is also known as riboflavin. Uh, deficiency of vitamin B2 causes swelling and reddening. Uh, swelling as well as uh, inflammation on the tongue as well as gums like that. Next one vitamin C. Vitamin C is also known as ascorbic acid. 
due to the deficiency of vitamin C we know this uh, scurvy scurvy is due to the deficiency of vitamin C that is ascorbic acid we are moving to next question question number three part of the brain concerned with maintenance of posture and balance part of the brain part of the brain concerned with maintenance of posture and balance options cerebrum cerebellum medulla hypothalamus you can write it on your answers the correct answer is cerebellum cerebellum is concerned with maintenance of posture and balance here in this picture you can see different areas of the brain and their functions especially the parts of the cerebrum please check it the picture and study well we are moving to next question question number four which of the following imparts a pale blue fluorescence to urine which of the following drug impart a pale blue fluorescence to urine options are lasix that is frosimide nitrofurantoin triamterin cascara lasix nitrofurantoin triamterin cascara you can write it down your answers The correct answer is triamterine. Triamterine is a potassium sparing diuretic which causes a pale blue fluorescence to the urine. Moving to next question, question number 5. Side effect of carbimazole. Side effect of carbimazole. Options hepatic toxicity nephrotoxicity agranulocytosis flatulence which of the following is the side effect of carbamazole hepatic toxicity nephrotoxicity agranulocytosis flatulence please write down your answers The correct answer here is a granulocytosis that is decrease in level of WBC especially neutrophils a granulocytosis what is carbimazole carbimazole is a antithyroid drug which causes which is a side effect of carbimazole is a granulocytosis moving to next question question number six Equipment used for the preparation of emulsion. It's a question for pharmaceutics. Equipment used for the preparation of emulsion. Triple roller mill, colloidal mill, propeller mixer, double cone blender. Options triple roller mill, colloidal mill propeller mixer double cone blender the correct answer is colloidal mill colloidal mill next question question number seven mill used for the grinding of sulfonamide drug mill which is used for the grinding of sulfonamide drugs Options ball mill, fluid energy mill, hammer mill, cutter mill. You can write it down your answer. The correct answer is fluid energy mill, which is used for the grinding of sulfonamide drugs. Question number eight. 
Chief Constituent of Pale Fruit. Chief Constituent of Pale Fruit. Options: Marmalosin, Marmosin, Manoglycan, Manitol. The correct answer is marmalosin. Marmalosin is the chief constituent of bale fruit. Question number 9. Sodium thiosulfate is also known as. Sodium thiosulfate is also known as. Options. Sodium hyposulfate, sodium sulfite, sodium metasulfite, sodium bisulfite. Please write the answer. The correct answer is sodium hyposulfate. Sodium thiosulfate is also known as sodium hyposulfate, which is used for cyanide poisoning. Last question of this mock test. Question number 10. Schedule R of the Drug and Cosmetic Act deal with. Schedule R of the Drug and Cosmetic Act deals with antiseptics, contraceptives, Disinfectants, biological products. Correct answer is contraceptives. Schedule R is deal with contraceptives. Okay, guys, thank you for attending this uh, mock test. And uh, if you didn't subscribe my channel until now, please subscribe right now itself, and you will get. Uh, new videos regarding the uh, pharmacy subject as well as uh, pharmacy job vacancy and also press the bell button so that you will get the notification whenever I upload new videos and don't forget to leave a comment of your mark. Thank you.